Hey folks, so welcome to this new session and new topic on polynomials. So we are going to discuss uh, what all polynomials are there and how polynomials are defined, why are polynomials called so, and uh, different types of polynomials. And primarily then we'll be uh, trying to visualize polynomials on graph paper. And then uh, we will be studying about, uh, let's say, something called zeros of a polynomial and the properties around zeros of the polynomial. So in this series of uh, sessions, we will be covering all these topics which I just discussed. So in this session, you are going to discuss what all polynomials are and how do we define them and uh, what are different types of polynomials. So let's do a quick uh, uh, overview on polynomials. So we'll actually start with uh, the very basic uh, concept in algebra so as you know these things are studied under algebra okay so the first thing was first thing which you would have learned in algebra is something called a term isn't it so a term is of the form of a times x to the power let us say n where you know this a is nothing but this is called the what is this called this is called coefficient isn't it coefficient of this term and x is the variable so it need not be x you can have any other alpha uh, alphabet uh, instead of x or any greek alphabet as well and n is called the exponent exponent or power right so this is usually comprises this usually comprises a uh, algebraic term guys now next in line was a definition of let's say expression so a combination of multiple terms separated by let's say addition and subtraction operator that is called an expression so example of an expression for and for that matter what is an example of a term so let's say 3x square is a term then root 2y to the power half is also a term like that okay now expression will be nothing but combination of these terms so hence if we say 4x square minus 2y plus 3z x let us say this is this is a this is an expression right um, more specifically this is a this is an algebraic expression right algebraic expression now uh, a category of ex algebraic expressions are called polynomials polynomials and we define polynomials uh, by you know polynomials and uh, the usual way of denoting polynomials is we write a capital letter and within brackets the variable in which the polynomial is so px is a polynomial okay polynomial in x and it is generally expressed like this a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus so on and so forth let us say a 1 x and plus a 0 okay once again so if you see there are multiple terms isn't it all these are terms this one is term this was another term another term another term now where if you see a1 a2 a3 and so on and so forth till a n minus 1 and a n now don't get confused by the subscripts which i'm writing so 1 2 3 so i can't use let's say i don't have 100 odd uh, alphabets to use as a coefficient as to denote coefficient so hence we do a smart thing so we just write a and simply write one two three as a subscript so that you know how many how many are here actually it starts from a naught so if you see there are n plus one coefficients right now so all these all these belong belong to the set of real numbers so hence all are what what do i mean i mean all of these coefficients are they have to be real numbers real numbers there is something called complex numbers as well which we will study later but uh, in this case, we are confining ourselves only to real number coefficients. Okay. Now x is a variable, you know, and n is a n is a non-negative, non-negative. That means zero positive or any positive integer. N is a non-negative integer. So that means it's basically whole number, right? N can be a any whole number. So this kind of expression, whenever you'll see, they are called polynomials okay they are called polynomials now example of a polynomial is so let us say px is equal to now i'm writing some examples of a polynomial px is equal to 3x square 
minus 2x plus 1. This is a polynomial, right? Another polynomial, let us say um, capital F of x is equal to is equal to 5x minus 24x to the power 3 minus 51y. Now, in, in, if it is in x, we can't write y. Let us say x to the power 4. This is again a polynomial. Another example, let us say small gx. You can write this like this as well. Let us say root uh, x square minus 7 by 5. Let us say x. Right? This is another example. So if you see, the coefficients are real. 7 by 5. Minus 7 over 5 and root 2 both are real and x is a variable and the powers are all non-negative integers. So these are all polynomials. What are not polynomials? Not examples of polynomials. So if you see what are not polynomials? What are not polynomials? So if you see they are not polynomials basically. So any expression like x to the power half minus y by z. These are all. Let us say this is a, a polynomial. This is a, sorry. This is an expression. But if you see the powers are half and z is z has to be raised to power minus one here so hence these are all this is not a polynomial not a polynomial right not a polynomial similarly let us say root 2 x to the power root 2 right x to the power root 2 minus let us say y root y these are also this is also not a polynomial not a polynomial now mind you in in the above definition we have used px so we have used a polynomial only in one variable that doesn't mean it cannot uh, polynomials cannot exist in multiple variables okay so a multiple variable polynomial pxy could be could be let us say a uh, an x to the power n plus let us say bn y to the power n plus an minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus b n minus 1 y to the power n minus 1 and so on and so forth and let us say it is a1 x plus b1 y plus a0 plus b0 where you know that a0 a1 a2 all are until a n all belongs to the set of real number and b1 b2 so on and so forth till b n also belongs to the set of real number so hence you can have polynomials in one variable polynomials in multiple variables right but in our uh, this course we are going to restrict ourselves to the study of polynomials of only one variable right next comes a concept of degree of a polynomial degree of degree of a polynomial so what is a degree of a polynomial this particular concept is going to be used a lot when we'll be dealing with factorization of polynomials and uh, finding zeros of a polynomial and things like that. So what is the degree of a polynomial? It's nothing but the it is defined as the exponent the exponent the exponent of the of the highest exponent of the highest degree term highest degree term in a highest degree term in a in a polynomial in a polynomial right the exponent of the highest degree term in a polynomial okay what does it mean so let us take an example so for example if i have fx is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 2x plus 7 let us say so what is the highest degree term so highest degree term is this so degree of this term will be the degree of the polynomial so hence we say degree of fx is nothing but 3 okay similarly let us say i have uh, g of T is given as 2t square minus 3t cube plus 4t to the power 7 right so the highest degree term in this is this and what is the degree of this term 7 so what do we write degree of sorry degree degree of what gt degree of gt is equal to how much 7 degree of gt is equal to how much 7 now uh okay now we might have let's say polynomials like this so fx let's say fxy is another uh, polynomial and it is like x cube y minus 27 x square y square plus let us say 42 x y to the power 4 what is the degree of this polynomial the degree of this polynomial is 5 why highest degree term so if you see what is the degree here 1 
so this degree of this term is 4 degree of again this one is 2 plus 2 which is 4 and degree here is 1 plus 4 which is 5 so highest degree is 5 so hence degree of this polynomial is 5 I hope you understood uh, uh, what is meant by degree of a polynomial right let, now let we will be taking up the different types of polynomial basis their degree 